Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Jess, and every month I've been posting these little monthly productive reset routine videos. I know I'm posting it a little bit early, but there's a reason. And if you want to know what that reason is, make sure you watch Thursday's video that's coming out after this one, because that's why I need to make this video before I made that video. Just like due to life timing and stuff, basically it's a big life change, life announcement. You're gonna want to see that video, so make sure you hit my notification bell so you don't miss that video. But like I said, every month I've been posting these monthly reset videos and I kind of realized that I've never actually like sat down and explained kind of step by step things that I do to make sure that I feel like I've had a really solid monthly reset. So today we're going to walk through how to make yourself the ultimate monthly reset and I'm going to take you through my monthly reset as I explain each of these steps. So if you enjoy this type of video and you want to see more monthly reset routines make sure you hit that little thumbs up button because it just helps me know what videos you guys like to see from me. But the first thing I'm actually going to do for my monthly reset is head to Trader Joe's. I I don't need to buy a lot of stuff from Trader Joe's, but I do need to buy a couple things. And I think that doing like a grocery restock, pantry restock, meal plan, meal prep, etc., is a really great way to kind of kick off a monthly reset actually. But I need to get going. It's already 10 a.m. and I need to kind of get some groceries before lunchtime. So let's head out to Trader Joe's. Okay, got everything I needed. Well, not everything I needed. I got most of what I needed from Trader Joe's. The unfortunate thing is they were out of my facial toner, which I usually buy from Trader Joe's. It's normally like three or $4 and they're out of it. So I'm gonna have to figure out something else for my facial toner this month. I'm gonna probably end up buying something from Amazon instead. Grabbed the few things that I needed. But here's the thing, you guys. I kind of want to run to Home Goods. It's not exactly around the corner or anything, but I kind of really want to like spruce up the place for Halloween for fall. In my last monthly reset video, I did start doing some fall decorating, but I realized I like don't actually have that much fall decor. And I went to Target last weekend and I was feeling very inspired, but I didn't buy much. So I was thinking maybe I could just like pop into Home Goods, you know, just see what they got. I feel like, I feel like it needs to be done, you know? Really quick, here's what I got from Trader Joe's. I got these little, what are these even called? Foxtails? Lag dried Lagurus. Lagurus? Thought this would be cute in a little vase, but then I couldn't find a little vase at Home Goods. So we'll see what we do with those. Obviously, some flowers. Lettuce for tacos. If you haven't had these before, they're super good. Give them a try. This I got because Jenna Hong has been <laughs> talking about it and I wanted to give it a try. We have been out of rice, so I got some rice. My face wash from Trader Joe's. And lastly, I just got a few like decorative little pumpkins. All right, now that I'm back home, step two of the monthly reset is to kind of like clean your space, organize your space, do whatever you need to do to your physical surrounding space to make it feel like a new month, to make it feel clean, organized, put together, all of those things. So I usually like to do a little to-do list with the top things that I really wanna prioritize. For me today, that's gonna be vacuuming, cleaning the bathrooms, and then putting up the Halloween decorations. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that. Do whatever you need to do to clean, get your space, put together, tidied up, and feeling ready for the month ahead. Things are looking pretty 
clean and tidy in the kitchen. Showed you guys all of my fall decor. I did some fall decor in my last month's monthly check-in if you missed that one. Tidied up the living room a bit. So now I'm gonna go on to step number three, which is a journaling brain dump. So I like to get a little cozy and just sit down with my journal, write it all out, write out anything that like has been bothering me over the last month, anything that I've been feeling anxious about, anything that's going awesome in my life, just write it all out, put it on paper. And yeah, it's just a really nice way to like clear my mind, cleanse my soul. So we're gonna do that next. So now we have done grocery restock, meal planning, cleaning the house, tidying our space, doing a journaling brain dump. Now I like to look at my goals from the previous month. And if you're new to this, you didn't set goals last month or whatever, you can always think about maybe some new year's resolutions you set for yourself. Think about how those are going, but I like to just spend a little bit of time looking back at my goals for the month before and reflecting on how I did with them. So for me this month, I'll pop up on the screen what my goals were for September. So first was gym four times per week. I pretty much did not do that honestly with Mexico and then getting back from Mexico, I was like really struggling to get back into my routine. This week I'm gonna try and get back into it, but basically I did not do this and that's okay. You know, sometimes we need a little bit of a break from our normal routine. I did not do that, but I still was getting into the gym and doing my best to kind of stay consistent with based on my schedule and traveling and all of that. Next was running once per week. I did still do that, so I'm proud of myself for that. Track food six days per week. I guess I kind of haven't really been doing this one. I'm just like starting to get back into this, same as the gym. Like I said, when we're traveling and stuff, it can be hard to stick with all of these goals, but as long as when I have control over it, I'm doing my best to stick to my plan. That's all I can do. Reach 8,500 subscribers on YouTube. You guys, as I'm recording this, I'm at like 80, 60, I think. So I still have a little bit over a week left in the month. So can I get 400 subscribers in the next like week and a half? Not sure, we'll see. But if I do hit 8,500 subscribers, that's gonna be freaking amazing. We're working on the views goal. You know, I really would love for my views to be better, higher. And I, you know, I feel like I am making good content, but I know in September that, you know, I had some like a couple travel vlogs. I took one day off of posting. And so September has been kind of a little bit slower for me from a views perspective, a growth perspective, just all of those things. So I'm hoping to kind of get back on pace and kind of have things pick up here kind of going forward. All right, next was read four books. I am going to accomplish that one. I just grabbed all my books to share with you guys. So first I read The Summer of Broken Rules. This was my book club book from last month. It was just kind of, you know, cheesy high school, beginning of college age romance. So if you like like a young adult romance book, this one is pretty good, but it's just a little bland for me, I guess. Next I read Secretly Yours by Tessa Bailey. I really like Tessa Bailey, so I enjoyed this book. You know, it's got some spicy scenes in it and was a little bit cheesy, but again, I just like Tessa Bailey, so I liked this book. Then I read The Perfect Marriage. This one was a thriller and I actually really enjoyed this one. It's more of like a legal thriller, legal psychological thriller, where the husband is accused of murdering his mistress and his wife is like the best defense attorney in the city. So she ends up defending him, kind of trying to figure out like if he's actually guilty or who the guilty person is. This was an interesting one that I really liked. And right now I'm on the seven and a half deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. This is our August or September. September book club pick. So I do need to finish this by the end of the month. I am on page like 94, 95 and it's a little bit slow. It's kind of different from my typical like thriller books that I go for. It's kind of like set in, I don't know, 1900, a long time ago. It's just different. Basically the main character like every day wakes up in a different person's body and he's trying to figure out like who the murderer is of Evelyn Hardcastle. So every day he's like waking up trying to figure this out and stop it basically. It's interesting, it's different. It's just also like I said, since it's written in a completely different time frame era, it's just not, not my personal favorite, but I'm sure a lot of people out there would like this better. But yeah, so once I finish that, that'll be my fourth book for the month. Spend at least one day truly recharging, no YouTube editing, fully relaxed in Mexico. Honestly, I did that. I did not do do any computer work or editing while I was in Mexico. So proud of myself for that. Get good sleep, be in bed by nine. I definitely have been a lot better about getting to bed early. I'm not actually waking up as early as I want to be and like getting my morning walks in, but I am getting to bed earlier. Getting, I'm getting lots of sleep. <laughs> Mental health, outdoor walk three times per 
week journal once per week to check in with myself meditate three times per week i have mostly only been doing my outdoor walks but at least i'm doing that i've been trying to remind myself to journal and trying to remind myself that it doesn't have to be like a 30 minute sit down journaling session it can just be quick like jotting down things i'm grateful for or writing out something i'm frustrated about or feeling anxious about so i do need to be better at that and i don't know why but i just like have not been thinking about meditating for some reason i really do want to get into that though and my last goal was to start a podcast or a couples channel with chris and actually you guys we did it we started a podcast so as of right now there's only one episode but it's called flex appeal podcast we also started a youtube channel for the podcast so i'll include that link to the to the podcast down in my description box in case you want to check it out but it, the podcast is really going to be focused primarily on like health and fitness but then also kind of like how that ties back into a marriage or a relationship and the first episode was about like how we're thinking about planning on staying on track when we went to mexico so we recorded this before mexico but yeah so it's really exciting i hope you guys do go check it out like i said i'll include a link to the podcast youtube channel down in my description box and it's called flex appeal podcast so now that i've done my sort of reflecting on my goals now for step five of the ultimate monthly reset routine i go through and like update my goals for any changes i want to make and goals that i have for the month going forward all right so first things first obviously going to change this month to october as i'm looking at my goals i honestly didn't really feel like i needed to change very many of them so i went ahead and kept the first three I updated my YouTube subscriber goal to 9,500 subscribers, which is absolutely crazy. We are approaching 10,000. I can't believe I'm saying that. Kept my reading goal, kept my spend at least one day recharging goal, get good sleep, kept that one. Mental health, I wanted to update journaling to just twice per month and meditating once per week as I feel like those are just a little bit more realistic for me. Then I wanted to change launch the podcast to record and upload at least one more episode so that we will finally have two episodes of our podcast live, maybe even three. In the last goal I wanted to set for myself was to actually book a weekend getaway for me and Chris, maybe not in the month of October, but at least have it booked and something on the calendar, something on the books to kind of look forward to. All right, so step number six, Six is to kind of review your budget, plan your budget, adjust things as necessary. I don't normally show this on my YouTube videos because I just don't feel like super comfortable sharing the ins and outs of my expenses, Chris's income and stuff like that. But you should know that I am definitely every single month looking at our bills, making sure everything is paid on time, figuring out how much extra spending money we have and where we need to cut back and things like that. So I guess with this one, just like know that I'm doing it, but like I said, I don't feel super comfortable sharing it on YouTube. But with that being said, the next step is to update your calendar. So I actually have a calendar in my Notion page. I used Notion to kind of organize my entire life. I actually used Jenna Hong's template and I kind of made some tweaks to it, obviously, but we use that as like a starting point. So I'll link her video where she walks through her template down in my description box as well. But I am going to go ahead and update my monthly calendar. So this week I have Shelby's bridal shower actually tonight. Sam and Teddy coming over for tacos something big is happening on the 24th but you'll find out what's happening on the 24th in the video that comes out on thursday so make sure you hang tight for that video we have book club um the first week of october we have reed and shelby's wedding on the 7th chris's dad is visiting the following weekend we usually have a halloween party but i don't know if we're still going to do that this year i feel like that's everything i have in october for right now which is kind of nice there's not as much going on we have chris's sister's baby shower the second weekend in november as of right now i feel like that's like everything we have going on for the next like two months so it's kind of just nice to like update your social calendar and have like a good grasp on everything you have going on and obviously like with it being notion you can quickly and easily change things add things delete things whatever as they come up but i just like kind of having this view of like things i know i have going on over the next couple of months and with that being said that actually leads me to my next step for the ultimate reset routine is when you're looking at your social calendar distinctly schedule in self-care time so whether that be like I was just saying with me and Chris like we want to book a trip a little getaway for us like pencil it in and that way you are like almost holding yourself accountable to take care of yourself to do the things that you know fill your cup and all of that maybe it's that every single Thursday you like to take a bubble bath and do a face 
mask or maybe it's like you pick two different friday nights or weekends or something where you're forcing yourself to like go on a hike outside or just do whatever you need to do to like make sure you are filling up your cup i think what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna put a little placeholder on my calendar maybe like the weekend after katie's baby shower that we are gonna do like a getaway weekend all right so step number nine for the ultimate monthly reset routine this is a new one for me this is something i've never done before actually is to pick a theme for the month i thought that this would be a really fun thing to start adding into my routine every single month so examples could be like friendship i really want to focus on my friendships cultivating those prioritizing those it could be self-care like that's the number one thing you're prioritizing it could be patience because you want to practice being more patient with your kids whatever so pick just like one kind of word i want to add this into my notion like right under where i set my monthly goals the theme i think i want to pick for myself is presence being present and this will also tie into thursday's video coming out after this one i think you'll understand a little bit more as to why i want my word of the month for october and my theme to be being present so i don't want to elaborate too much on that but just know that i think that that's the kind of theme and word i'm picking for myself for october all right and the final thing i want you to do for your ultimate monthly reset routine is to do something that's like self-care i love finishing off a reset day with like taking care of myself being cozy whatever that looks like sometimes for me what i really want is like a walk outside other times like i want to get a really good workout in because that will help me feel like i've got my act together i'm ready for a month ahead i'm a freaking queen you know those types of things for other people like i said before it might be a bubble bath it might be a face mask it might be going for a hike or something like that so just pick something that feels truly like self-care to you and go do that thing for me today i would love to do a little walk outside later this evening and maybe i'll even do like a little face mask later well you guys that pretty much wraps it up for today's video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you found it helpful i hope that it you kind of figure out what you want and need to do for your own kind of monthly resets and to build your own monthly reset routine i feel like i got a lot done today grocery hauls cleaning decorating setting new goals journaling brain dump reviewing my own goals reviewing my books like all of the things i feel like we did a lot so i'm proud of myself we got a lot done today hope you found it motivating and maybe did it along with me if you did enjoy this video make sure you hit that thumbs up button because it just helps me know what videos you guys like to see from me but that is basically it i will show you a few more clips of whatever i do decide to do for my self-care later this evening but yeah i hope you enjoyed today's video and i will catch up with you next time